Hey, it's me! Been a while, hasn't it? Well, I thought I'd make a video explaining my gaming history. So, I guess I'll start at the beginning. My very first video game was on the PlayStation 1. It was Bugs Bunny Lost in Time. Yes, that one. I wasn't really old enough to find it entertaining or fun to play. In other words, I just really sucked at it. Then, the unfortunate happened. I dropped it. I pulled on the controller too hard and it fell uh, off the... about three feet off the shelf from under the TV. It didn't turn on for a very long time after that. It wasn't until a few years later that I pulled it back out and it magically started working again. I don't know why till this day. I got a few more games after that Bugs Bunny game when it started working again. But nothing too special. I eventually found out that Xbox exists from my cousin. He had lots of 360 games when it first came out. He didn't have Call of Duty though. That came later. Okay, so the year is 2009. I am 12 years old at this point, And I just found out Call of Duty exists. But not on console or PC. Oh no. This was on iOS. A friend at school named Alex introduced me to it. He told me there was a new app in the App Store that featured zombies. It was Call of Duty Zombies. I played the heck out of that game on my iPad. It was to the point where I started playing it at school when no one was watching. It was a really lax school. Soon after that, I figured out that Call of Duty wasn't just on iOS, it was everywhere. I also found out there was a new Call of Duty game out, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. We'll come back to that later, but now let's talk about my first experience on PC. I'm not too sure when I got World of War on PC, but it was sometime not long after the iOS version. I got it to play the modded maps, which are really fun. This was all on my home PC though, which was shared by the whole family. The thing didn't even have a graphics card slot in it, so you couldn't actually upgrade it for anything. It ran World of War, yes, but not very well at all. I, I think it probably got maybe 45 FPS maximum. I think that's actually being generous. Anyways, I played that for a long time until I lost the disc. After that, my cousin brought over his Xbox 360 with Modern Warfare 2 on it. I'm pretty sure that was my first time playing multiplayer on Call of Duty, because the home computer I don't think could run it. I don't know why, but it just crashed. The multiplayer did. It didn't actually run. It ran the single player fine, but not the multiplayer. So anyways, I absolutely sucked with the controller. I didn't mind though, as I was having fun playing against other people. I didn't actually own my own Xbox until Black Ops came out. I had begged my parents for a long time to get one. They finally caved when my younger brother started asking for one too. We bought a used Xbox 360 off of Craigslist, yes. It came with like 30 games though. The most important thing to me though was Call of Duty Black Ops. I really wanted it for the zombies. All the other games were basically just a, a bonus. I could have and did play it for the longest time. Then, uh, again, the unfortunate happened. And it got the Red Ring of Death. Also, again, by some miracle, a few months later, we pulled it back out and it turned on again. At this point, Black Ops was on its way out and Modern Warfare 3 was in. About the same time the Xbox broke again, but this time it didn't turn back on. This was the end of my gaming adventure for at least a while. Around 2012, we moved to take care of my grandparents. It was a very cramped two-bedroom rental house for all five of us, not including my grandparents. The only electronic device we had at that house was my parents' new laptop. I managed to buy Black Ops 2 on Steam, 
I really couldn't play it at acceptable frame rates. It was kind of screwed at this point. Until my grandma died. It was very sad, and my parents decided to move again. This time to a much bigger house that could fit all of us. At our new house, I got a job at 16 and was able to pay for a new computer with a NVIDIA GT. Not GTX. GT 630. And some crappy AMD CPU. I'm not entirely sure which one it was. I was also able to buy World of War and Black Ops 1 and 2 on Steam for PC. It was around that time that I met Aaron. I met Aaron in a game of 5 on Black Ops, uh, if you believe that. We made it around like 25 or so, and after the match we decided to trade info on Steam and Skype. He's been my best friend ever since. Not a lot changed for a while after that. When I graduated from high school, I got my current job at Publix, which paid a lot more money. I was also able to upgrade my PC again to an i7-4770K and an R9-390 from AMD. Then again to what I have today. Right now I have an i7-8700K and a GTX 1080. I am currently in college, which is why I haven't been uploading a lot. Well, anyways, that about wraps things up. I hope you found the video entertaining to view. If you did, thanks for watching, and have a wonderful day. Get high, Paul. Get high, Paul. Get high, Paul.